All right, welcome to a first kind of, it's like a Nate and Beth audio little review here, isn't it, yeah. Beth? mini reviews for the Friday the 13th, the TV series. There's some interest out there among the, the, the watchers of this channel, and me being a huge Friday the 13th fan in regards to the movie franchise, people are interested in if uh, well, what my thoughts are on the Friday the, the 13th series, which I knew about in the 80s but never watched because, well, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't Jason. Jason. So, and I grew up watching it, so it's like memory lane for me, and, but I hadn't watched all of it, so this is a treat being able to watch the entire series one episode at a time to share our views with uh, the listeners. So I thought what might be interesting to do is basically after we watch each episode stop by with a little audio Nate and Beth review of each episode so I just recently got the whole series on DVD um, luckily it arrived in the mail without any discs loose which I was grateful for we um, initially we did watch the first episode on YouTube well we we kind of <laughs> we kind of listened to it actually yeah. it was more appropriate because it was so blurry and fuzzy on the TV the channel we found was probably better on like a um, iPod and a pad versus a TV it was just a phone it was a really fuzzy video it was really pixelated but that was enough for me to go okay this is cool even in its fuzziness i i knew that this would be something i didn't be interested in buying so i bought it and then we rewatched <laughs> the which is called shit what's it called the inheritance the inheritance episode 1 season 1 friday the 13th the series which introduces, do, maybe you would like to, to say how the series begins. Um, it introduces the main characters, which is Mickey and, shoot, I forgot the boy's name. Okay, well it introduces those two characters in, in addition to the older guy who, the older yeah. guy's who now? The, the older guy, okay. Oh, he's the friend of the... He's the, the friend the, of the original Well, can owner. I do something real quick? Yes, please. I'll just put it in some perspective. So the thing opens with this older guy. He's, he's this, oh, yeah. This guy has... this. The, the episode opens with this older guy. He's he's an actual actor. He's been in movies like Children of the Corn and all these kind of movies. Made a guest appearance as the former, you know, the owner to slash former owner as, this, as the the episode progresses the guy who's running the place who apparently was working what for the devil by yeah. selling these these cursed he had items. this this store full of cursed items that he was selling so upon the first when we when the episode starts he's what he guess he's done he's, doing he's, he's inventory he's, he's decided this... to stop mm. working for the devil or what i think it was kind of no he decided after the people left so he's doing inventory and this family comes in from the rain and they have a little girl with them that is fascinated by this doll and she ends up bringing the doll outside and the doll kills a teenage boy which is the first kill oh i was gonna start the review with but yeah. i forgot so there <laughs> that's the sound that the doll makes is <laughs> you're really good at that oh. um and then the shopkeep takes the doll from the little girl and shoes the family out and says, I'm no longer doing it, I'm not doing your bidding anymore. And he shoves a bunch of items in a vault. In the basement. And as he's leaving the vault, the stairs to the basement, which are wood, have flame steps coming down. And as you see oh. the flame steps closer, <laughs> They're split hooves, like the devil's feet. The devil's hoofed feet, oh. So, he gets pushed into this shaft and um, probably goes down to hell. <clears throat> dies, for all intents and purposes. For all intents and purposes, dies and goes to hell. And then um, Mickey, which is the only character I can remember right now, is the girl. and The um, braless woman. I don't know if woman. she's got a bra or not. You Doesn't look that. like it. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so two cousins, quote unquote, inherit this uh, antique store, and wasn't the owner supposed to be have been their uncle, right? Yeah, the owner was supposed to have been their uncle, and these people are supposedly cousins. And John D. LeMay plays this this other the guy who was I don't yeah very very high pitched voice for a grown male. Yeah, John D. LeMay is the actor's real name but i can't think of his ryan name. is it ryan it, ryan yeah okay. ryan and mickey thank you which and is they're michelle both yeah they're both brawless well maybe john 
Ryan. Um, so Ryan, know. yeah, I think it is Ryan. <laughs> if if not, we'll correct it in our next uh, review. Um, they inherit the place. They meet for the first time in doing so. She wants to sell everything, and he wants to keep the business. Side story, she's got this rich lawyer fiancé asshole that's waiting for her to come back and get the, you know, sell the shop, get it over with so you can come back and marry me and be my brother's bride. Be my trophy wife. <clears throat> um, they get mixed up in... They sell a lot of the inventory, and then the guy comes back for the doll, which... Ryan brings up from the vault. And sells it to that girl who was looking at it at the beginning. Yeah. And then the little girl ends up killing her stepmother, which is the third the kill. Bitch stepmother. <laughs> bitch stepmother. Uh, which is the third official kill. Um, well, you always say the girl does. I think the, the doll suffocated the stepmother in bed. Yeah. First the doll makes the possesses the skate to get, oh, and the to, doll falls down the stairs. We, I the, thought the mom step -mom's, was dead. No, the stepmom falls down the stairs. But and she ends up in the hospital, and they go visit alive. her, and the doll kind of gives her mouth to mouth when I say deathiation. Yeah, so the doll basically sucks Sm her soul out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. mom's dead, and, and father's on, devastated. Later on, there's some neighbor babysitting the girl, and we, 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 we drove home today, and we couldn't remember if that neighbor woman who got strangulated with the jumping rope or whatever dies or not? She was near death, but then the doll, I think, heard Ryan and Mickey coming inside and kind of reversed everything. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. Put the fallen book... Bookcase back uh, that uh -huh. fell on the woman, older woman that was watching the child. And the child runs off to um, a playground and Mickey follows the child. This is the final yeah. exciting confrontation on the merry-go-round. Yeah. TV action scene. Well, no, not, well, yeah. Um, playground, merry-go-round. So Mickey chases after the, well, Mickey finds the, <clears throat> sees the daughter on a playground and goes out to talk to the little girl. And Ryan stays behind to watch over the babysitter, older neighbor lady so we're not sure if the older neighbor lady actually dies or not um that's kind of a mystery so whatever the audience wants to say is shoot we forgot right. to mention somewhere along this time this the, the guy who was what the former childhood friend of the their their uncle shows up yeah and oh tells, that's that's why they're going after the doll tells them about what's been going on and how the uncle made a deal with the devil satan to stay uh stay alive and stay rich he didn't want to grow old or die poor well then why was he old at the beginning of the oh he's not like dead he's, he's just physically old but the innards are probably 20 year old in suspended animation oh yeah life. maybe he made the deal when he was that age and then mm -hmm. that just he just, just stopped froze him froze yeah he could have been 200 could have been two, three hundred years old. That would have been cool if, like, as soon as he decided to not do it anymore, he just turned to, to dust ash. and go. Shh. That would have been cool. <laughs> so they're going after this doll, and they see the housekeeper slash neighbor slash babysitter on the ground. Mickey chases the girl. Well, goes after the girl and ends up going on this merry-go-round that's going faster and faster. Day turns to night. Because the doll is like calling upon all these dark powers, and the girl is getting more and more possessed by the doll. <laughs> and then, um, in a struggle, Ryan takes the doll from the little girl. The little girl flies off the merry-go-round, and uh, now we the girl the merry-go-round stops, and then she's all hurt and crying, and Mickey goes to the girl, saying, "Oh, it'll be all right." Kisses her forehead. It's okay. And then they end the show, they're all back, all three of them are back in the sh antique shop, and they're like, oh man, we sold a lot of these items, how are we gonna, like, where are we gonna begin? Did we even mention, yeah, we kind of mentioned that, that the, the premise of the thing is these people, when they inherited it, I guess off camera or something, I don't know, maybe... I don't know if maybe they're trying to get back. I don't know. Regardless of whether, because it looked no, like the, only uh, they sold the dolls, what it looked like to me. No, they sold 90% of the inventory because she wanted to get rid in of... In one day? In one day. Yeah, they probably had super cheap. Okay. 
Hot deals, anyway, super cheap clothes, the whole, store what closing Beth sale. Says is the whole series, or at least what you've seen of it, is is them now having to to track down track all these down. devil items that were sold at the store to try to save the people from these devil items. Yeah, so they're so, trying to... <clears throat> the very end of the episode is like, oh, how are we going to track down the next one? And the old guy looks in the paper, he's like, oh no! And, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, it's like cliffhanger. So, like cliffhanger so, to the next one. So, so the premise of it is they inherit this antique store yeah. filled with devil cursed items. They didn't know. They sold... Probably 50 to 75 percent of said store in a closing store sale because Mickey just wanted to sell and get out and get married and become a trophy wife. And uh, they figure out about the items being cursed and like some wedding dress that was purchased, and three days later the bride dies. And the dress was purchased three times, and each time, three days later, the woman who wears the wedding dress dies. and they're like, okay, this is not good. They remembered that they had sold the doll to the guy for the little girl. We already explained that. And now they're trying to get back all these cursed items. Hence the premise of the TV series, Friday the 13th the series. So me, being a, being a fan of the you know film franchise i mean you know the thing is you know i i, I you know because i'm as the age i was in like 11 12 this this series started in 87 so i was 10 yeah and uh you know i i actually watched like in 88 things like war of the war a little bit of war of the world's tv series which beth probably didn't no. she probably don't, doesn't know anything about so i'm kind of familiar in a little bit of freddy's nightmares in the late 80s I watched. So I'm familiar with this kind of low-brow, low-budget, like, quote-unquote, horror-esque TV show. So for me, it was, uh, you know, when I saw that, half saw, I mostly heard the initial episode on YouTube. Hmm. I'm like, yeah, this is this is fun. I, this is up my alley because, you know, John D. LeMay would go on, of course, to be in Jason Goes to Hell. And another interesting thing from Friday fans would obviously <laughs> know is the guy who did the music, Fred Molin, for the series, or I don't know if it's the whole series, probably would go on to do half the music for, for you know, Friday 7, the movie, and all the music for Friday 8. So this would begin kind of his con his connection for at least a couple movies to the, strangely enough, the film franchise starting in the TV mm -hmm. Friday the 13th show. So it was actually fun hearing, because I could tell, you know, being a, having seen Friday 7 a lot and Friday 8 a lot, Fun, fun hearing for me new like Fred Mullen music in the show and I think moving forward that'll be fun for me and once again John D. LeMay for me <clears throat> it's kind of a you know the two younger characters for me are kind of interesting. He's kind of a pansy actor. Pansy actor <laughs> but kind of fun at the same time. It's a good role for him. You know um, if the woman remains brothers this might be an interesting show. And again, I'm not really paying attention to that, so thank you, Nate, for that uh, observation. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, that's our plan moving forward, is to... Uh, After each episode... Uh, do a little review on it, so... That's the review of Season 1, Episode 1, The Inheritance. Friday the 13th, the series. The Inheritance. <laughs> It's great little the little tune I'm I'm assuming Fred Mullen came up with. Every time you see the doll it's just the like the little music box dee, 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 yeah. tune like Oh the, and the doll's name is Vida. Ooh. So that is life, apparently. Um, but she likes to like take life. But maybe with each life that she takes she becomes stronger. Mm, because she was kinda well, weak in the beginning. Beth's just assuming that. But I that's am just okay. assuming it, but she kinda got stronger towards that third attempted kill. It's funny because, oh wow, well, yeah, this because episode was before Child's Play, so. The, the, and Dolly thinking Dears. about it. Think about it. Think so, about it. No, just kind of recapping, when she first picks up the doll and brings it outside, the doll can only karate chop the guy's neck, and <laughs> of course there's blood coming out, so that kind of gives her strength. And oh, then the see. stepmother, she could only move a roller skate, which she was only strong enough to move this roller skate. Oh, so so the mom trips, stronger. trips down the stairs, and then she takes the life, like we're assuming she takes the life of the stepmom, so she's even stronger. So when it comes to 
the babysitter, she's actually able to move poltergeist, poltergeist yeah, telekinetic the, things like, and dump over the shelf and like do totally the, turn the strangle that woman with no, yeah. just with the rope. Yeah, so she got really strong with that last one. I mean, she animated all these toys. Beth was, might be onto something there. Was uh, throwing child's records and slashing. Oh her yeah, face I was. With I them. was like, this is uh, before. Hellraiser 3, it's it's not <laughs> CDs, it's little kitty records flying at the woman. That was funny. So, yeah, that's... I had a lot of fun with the inheritance, just the yeah. devil doll and the, the devil tree it got up to. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was able to like make it look like nothing happened, like put everything back yeah. telekinetically. So I think with every kill, the doll got stronger. I and see. she was, you know, controlling the playground too, like throwing fireballs out of this clown. I mean, this doll was Incident, <laughs> inc Incidentally, at least around the t time we're uploading this, you can. There's a channel that seems to have like a, a good amount of these episodes in Blurrow Vision. If you wanted to check them out yourself on YouTube, maybe you can attach that in the comments. Uh, yeah, possibly just a link to the first episode, and that same channel's got what appears to be several more. I don't know if it's got them all or whatever, but yeah, it seemed to have at least m all of season one. So again, we don't recommend watching it on a big screen, but maybe on like a... a Even computer, phone, iPad. iPad or mm -hmm. tablet. Um, a smaller screen would probably do it more justice than a large TV screen because it was really pixelated. So, but uh, that's really all I have to say. Well, I think we pretty much covered it. Thanks for stopping on by for our review of this episode and looking forward to watch more of the boom and do more reviews, right, Beth? Yep. I think the second season one, episode two, is the poison pen, if I'm, I'm afraid. Remembering, <clears throat> remembering correctly. I'm afraid. All right. So, thank you for listening, and we look forward to sharing more of these mini, mini reviews. On Friday the 13th, the series. <laughs> <laughs>